I also forgot. Hi, Jay. Wow, this is incredibly awkward. I don't know how people do this.
Thanks, Jay, for subscribing. <laughs> best to get the true ending without looking at a guide this but uh might not be possible because there's like corners i have to like look to find specific items so it might take a while also i'm very bad at games so don't have any uh expectations please i can see my boyfriend laughing in the background I'm, like sweating Okie dokie. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, now this time I literally have to check everything. Fucking missed out on a lot the first time. So Tiff, I've gotten one good ending and one one bad ending from this game already. So uh, now I'm gonna try to get the true canon ending, but it will be difficult. I have been told. Okay, you're not gonna read. Okay. Also, this game has bad grammar, so. Be prepared for that. Six thirty? What kind of a fifteen year old wakes up at six thirty? What the fuck? I should also probably read the dialogue. Let's see. <laughs> she walks into the couch. That's a bug. Okay. Not right now. Okay, so what I know is that she has a brother, I think? So I'm just like, why the hell? Yeah, a brother. So why is he not involved in this story? Jay, if you watch the ring, there's a ring reference in this game that uh, I'll let you know when I click on it so Tiff doesn't get scared, but it was actually pretty darn scary. I got freaked out. Chapter one, this is the prologue. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Are these porn magazines? <laughs> A stack of magazines are scattered on the floor. This must be Big Brothers. Like, why does she have that awkward face? The fuck? Be two to three days, Dad. Okay, then be careful out there. 
Oh, you can also take my katana along with you. If anyone tries to hurt you, just swing him twice, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll pass. She's stupid, though. She should really take that, because she's going to need it. But she doesn't know that yet. like Pokemon <laughs> oh hi Arnold sorry I mean I did give you the link so I don't know why you uh, had a hard time finding this but uh, there you go there's nothing in this fucking house oh hey this is my boyfriend good morning Yuki did you sleep well last night oh Good morning, Taiga Kun. <laughs> this is so anime. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, what brings you here this early? I'm here to ask for your help. Did you see a white cat around here? The one that's carrying a hand phone? A white cat that is carrying a phone? Is that cat? No, of course not. The one that's carrying a phone on its mouth. That cat stole my phone. Well, I don't have an option. I want to say no, because I know it's a waste of my time, but sure. Then let's search separately. That's the best idea in a horror game. Let's split up. I kind of want to like kick this snowman down because this snowman fucking comes to life later and it's scary as shit. Oh. Arnold Tiger is <laughs> greater than luck. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, I wonder if that scene activates now. No, I don't think so. Hello, Mr. Yakuza. I'm fine, thanks. This is Mr. Yamamoto. He's a Yakuza, but he's not a bad guy. What a horrible stench. Well, no shit. Oh, Jay, this is the... That is the well I was telling you about. Um, later, I will show you. Where did that cat go to? I wonder. Oh, well. It's so deep that you can't even see the bottom. This is really weird. I feel like I'm just like a crazy person talking to myself, but... Hello! Ah, found you. Um, Mr. Cat, please return that phone, okay? Thank you, Mr. Cat. Alright, let's dip. Diana, if you see something in the guide that says I have to uh, find an item, but I missed it, can you like, I don't know, like caps lock that shit and tell me to go back because I'm definitely going to miss it. What's happening? The curse will be completed soon. Ooh. Is someone speaking right into my mind? <laughs> Girl assumes cat is me. <laughs> Where am I? Um, okay, wait, can I move? Oh no. It's freezing here, maybe even colder than the mountains during winter. Huh? Is that... A mansion? I guess I don't have any other option than taking shelter inside that mansion. Do you? Do you really? Because... 
I mean, I don't know. I'd rather freeze out here. I'd rather freeze out here than go through what I went through in that fucking mansion. Ugh. Like, even knowing when the jump scares are gonna happen or having, like, a rough idea is not making this better. Especially because right now I feel alone. <laughs> oh. I fucking hate this place so much. It's so dark in here. Um, hello? Is anyone inside? No, no, there isn't anyone. Looks like the mansion was abandoned for years. I hope the snowstorm will end soon. Norman, stop. Wait, there should be a mirror here somewhere. Fuck, I need to save. Oh shit. Well. It's. Oh, it's. Also, I think I read somewhere that if the, it says the door is jammed, I should keep trying to open it. I did not know that for my first playthrough. <sighs> and also, Diana knows my frustration with this, but this main character is slow as fuck, so certain chase scenes will be. Hello. Yeah, you scared me again for the second time. Great. Well then. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I don't want to go in that room. Is there a mirror? No, there isn't. Fine. Oh, no. This room is not better. There are bloodstains on the floor. A katana is left alone. It really resembles father's. What I don't understand is why you don't fucking pick up that katana. Like, what? Dried up human skeleton is lying on the floor. So someone died here? Let's see. There's a book titled The Kirihara Mansion Part 1, which caught your attention. The Kirihara Mansion was built since 1883. It was one of the most famous mansions during its era. The previous and latest owner, Shoichi Kirihara, rebuilt the mansion all by himself. It was finished under 800 days. Later, during World War II, the mansion was completely destroyed by the foreigner, leaving no trace of its great history. So this mansion is... Yes, good job, Yuki. You put two and two together. A mirror made up by ice. A dried up human skeleton is lying on the floor. Someone... Yes, we got that already. What the fuck? Okay, let's see if there's anything I missed. Oh! Okay, yeah, so that's what I didn't get the first time. I didn't know I could get a lantern. <laughs> That is gonna come in very fucking useful for another room I have to go later. Uh, there are some clothes inside, but they're all covered in dust. Several futons inside the dresser, but they're all covered in dust and spider webs. Okay. Oh shit, that scared me. Oh my god. The tree trunk is split. Judging by its appearance, the tree trunk isn't cut by a sharp budge. What? What does that mean? So interesting with Japanese like horror games like oh she but No wait, she's a blue ghost, so she should be fine. It's the purple and red ghosts that are bad. Sealed tight. Okay, nothing. I don't wanna play as Yuki, I wanna play as the girl who can jump over these holes. She's a fucking like Olympian. Oh, I remember not liking this room. Skeleton, yes, yes. No. No. God damn it. No. Why are you so fucking slow? Gasp, is that? A yurei is standing before you. If you hear more carefully a conversation- If you listen more carefully, a conversation can be heard from it. Oh, Tiff's like, what about that blanket on the floor? Uh, I think I clicked on it, but I'll go back to check. Yukiko, it's time. Okay, Dad. I really can't run away from my fate. What did I just hear? Bottom oil. Lantern is now filled with oil. 
some clean water. Okay. I think I checked everything in here. Okay. Rewriting the grammar. Yeah, I can't. Otherwise, I can't play uh, this game. Uh, like, it would drive me nuts if the grammar was not fixed. Like, the crazy thing is it says that this game had an editor, and I was like, what the fuck did that editor do? Oh, wait, no, 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 I already went through this. Fuck. Okay. Wait, you said blankets, right? I didn't. This one? I don't think... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Pretty sure. Or meh, I can't be bothered. Pretty sure. I already tried this one, right? Okay. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, no. Oh my god, I'm getting lost already, Jesus. Look at how slow she is. She sprints for like two seconds and then she gets tired. Like, this is not ideal for a horror game main character. Shit. Wait, I checked that one already. Wait, what? Oh, no signal. Oh, great. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, there's something here. This is ice. Oh. Stomach just twisted into knots. Don't take my soul away. What are you doing here, young girl? I'm just seeking shelter until the snowstorm is over. You came to the wrong place, young girl. Wrong place? I'm sorry, but this place is the only available place around here. This place is very dangerous. No shit. Leave now, young girl. Is he gone now? He said this place is dangerous. Could you not tell from the fucking skeletons? Now that he mentioned it. Wait, I didn't save. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, something's gonna pop out super nervous in this mansion. I hate this. Seal tight. Uh, sh did I go up there? No, there I can't even go up there. Never mind. Also, am I using my... Oh, it only lights in a specific place. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a bot. I uh I'm gonna try my best to save her stamina until she actually needs to fucking run because this girl is Oh okay, yeah. No. Oh god. <laughs> oh! oh shit. <laughs> Sorry if I'm like, uh, if I scream directly into the mic, which probably will happen, um... Oh shit, that scared me. Okay, wait, let me drink some water. <sighs> um, yeah. Safe to say I don't like the dark, and, um, I don't like that they turned off the music. Because at least when they had the creepy music, I didn't feel too, like, I felt okay like they're not gonna i don't know there's just something about eerie silence that just gets to me nothing shit wait there's a mirror uh, 
Oh, I don't remember if I'm supposed to go in here first or... Oh, I can't even... Okay, well I guess I'm going in there. Didn't I read this right? Back in 1883, there was an extremely skilled shogun named Seijiro Kirahara. He was the leader of the Kirahara family back then. His name became so famous as he traveled throughout Japan looking for worthy opponents. At one moment, he was tired of traveling and decided to rest for a while. In order to do that, he built the Kirihara mansion. But not long after, in 1904, he died because of a mysterious disease that runs in the family. Mysterious disease, my ass. There's no book, okay. Why am I so nervous? I feel like this place had something. And that fucking blood hand thing. Why is it following me everywhere? A book title- oh, the previous one was Kirihara Mansion and there's Kirihara Family. Okay, part two. The Kirihara Mansion has some trap installed- oh, right. Several rooms in the mansion may have multiple traps inside it. Many thieves that entered the mansion were killed by the traps, even I sometimes almost got hit by them. The most common trap in the mansion are the is the hidden spikes. They are put almost everywhere in the depths of the mansion. In order to deactivate the traps, switches have been made, but the switches themselves sometimes are protected by some traps. Okay, yeah, I remember dying a lot to these traps, so uh... Ooh, I... <laughs> uh, I don't want to do it, but... Okay, I, I happen to remember that like the first playthrough I walked through here and that uh blood mark, uh that's where a trap is, so I I don't want to get impaled, so I'm not gonna do that this time. Kirihara family part two. The Kirihara family is a very wealthy family. They're considered as one of the richest families in Japan back then. The Kirihara family also loves trading with foreign people that came from the West and Southeast countries. Foreigners often bring a unique weapon called firearms to trade with the katanas that the Kirihara family had. That is why the Kirihara family was the most fa dangerous family in Japan during that era. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn off the light actually because I can't see as well. And of course this makes it scarier, but you know. Uh, wait. if I'm scared. Oh god. Why is it still dark? Uh. Ah! Mother f Sorry. <sighs> it is very dark. like getting scared that I'll miss something but at the same time being scared that I'm gonna fucking get a jump scare <laughs> thank you uh... oh Jesus oh finally light something's not right about this room I have to be careful Say first. Uh. What? Scrap note on the floor. Beware of the blood pools. Okay. Uh, uh, door 
are sealed tight. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that was that was my bad. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay, I have to go slow. Okay. I have to go slow. You need a key, okay. Where was the other room? down. Wait, I really need to go slow or else I'm gonna keep dying. I do not fuck with this shit. Oh. Haruto, there's nothing inside it. Psycho, nothing inside it. Takamura. Who's Takamura? Hideyoshi. Sengoku. Madoka. Shoichi. There's a key. Yukiko. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Okay. I would like to take a nice bath in this hot spring. Nothing and nothing. Yeah, okay. Okay, careful. Is this the one that needed a key? No, it's the one up there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I no, I think what you're hearing, Tiff, is like her footsteps. She makes ridiculously loud footstep noises, which I don't understand. I still don't understand how she's a horror game uh, main character. Oh shit, I should have saved before I came in here. Oh. There's a blue colored diary. 20 February 1930. Wait, what? During a hunt, I almost got killed by a gun wielding foreigner. Luckily, I was able to decapitate him. With lots of effort dodging his bullet, glad I took my beloved katana with me. Love in April. I met a very talented samurai from a village from the village in the west. I guess I'll introduce him to my daughter later. She has to marry him or the Kiriata family won't have a new generation. 20 April. My daughter refused to get married. I'll make sure she will change her mind. Oh shit. For now, I'll just lock her inside the cave underneath the mansion until she changes her mind. 21 April. My daughter kept crying inside the cave, so I beat her head with a stick to silence her. After all, she's just a burden if she doesn't get married. Well, well, you could say I'm a pretty much cruel dad, but this is all for the sake of the family. No, it's not, you bastard. I do not like this. I don't like the fact that I can't remember. This must be the room owner's remains. Did he commit suicide? There's a switch. Oh! Something seems to have been deactivated. Oh, nice. The, the, I think the traps came undone. Nice, nice, nice. Bloodstained paper. 2nd April, 1927. My daughter came to this world. But my dear cycle, her body became a lot weaker after that. Why? Why did this have to happen? This key must be... You got the entrance door key. Yes. Whoa! God, God that's... What happened? 
Oh fuck! Shit! Oh my god, wait, this is the part I kept dying. Oh my god. Okay, brace yourself, Tiff. I'm gonna I'm gonna be dying a lot here and I didn't save, so rip. Uh here, should I look behind or stay quiet? What do you think? I know the answer, but I don't I don't know what you think I should do. I will obey your command, so. Burp, burp. Burp. You know, yeah, I guess uh, I'll look behind. Okay, Tiff, brace yourself. Don't don't look at the screen. Do what doesn't kill you. <laughs> Jay says, stay quiet. Okay, let me show you what's what happens. See, this is what I chose the first time. I also thought this was a rational choice. Someone grabbed my neck? Oh, I hate this shit. Yep. Yuki didn't move a single bit trying to stay quiet. But it was a huge mistake. As she stayed quiet, something kept approaching her from behind. A hand suddenly grabbed her, and the last thing she heard is a snap. Game over. <laughs> it's okay. I know where to go, so... Oh shit, I did not save in a while. It's okay. I know exactly where to go if I can just avoid the traps again. <laughs> he just tried to jump scare you? Oh no! You need to punish him for that. Oh shit. Wait, this is not the right... Uh, uh. Uh, next it's... yes it goes in here okay I think it was this one nope this one nope this one yes okay now I'm gonna go back and save so I don't have to fucking deal with this shit First off, let's read all this shit so that blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whatever. to go back and save after this point because I already know I'm going to die a shit ton after this. entrance door key oh I'm so stupid there's a mirror right there for me to save <laughs> da, da, da. okay tiff look away three two one no no that girl's Oh shit, shit, I forgot where I'm supposed to go, and she is slow as fuck. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe... No! Oh 
my god, I still have to run away. Yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, and she is so fucking slow. My god, yep. <laughs> Are you laughing at my pain? Ugh. Okay, this time I'll save in this mirror because I know there's a mirror here. I'm so stupid. Right there. Yay, entrance key, okay, blah, blah, blah. Da, de, da. Of course, I always protect you. Yeah, she's not that scary, honestly. There are scarier things in this game. Objective, run to the entrance. Okay, well. The problem with her is that she is so fucking slow. Like, unbelievably slow. And I can't see. And that's only making it worse. At least I don't have to worry about the traps. Oh my! The music does not help, and she is so fast, and I am so slow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Holy shit, I'm not done! Oh my god! Okay, well this was kind of wrecked. Well, I might as well, but I'm gonna die right away. <coughs> Fuck. <sighs> I died twice, Arnold, so far. Well, three, counting the trap. Oops. Okay, four, because I already... <laughs> I like how you know. Oh no, you guys are gonna get really drunk if you do make this a uh, drinking game. Oh shit. Ah! Okay. Oh, what the f- Oh, that was close. Holy shit. And she is right behind me. And I am gonna fucking freak the fuck out. I don't remember the- ah! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, my heart is racing so bad. And it's still going. What the fuck? Ah! Oh, I'm angry. Oh, wait, no, not this one. Shit. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, God. I might end up rage quitting soon. Jesus. Yeah, Arnold, you can probably step away for like 15, 20 minutes and then come back. She is, right? She's so fucking slow and it's like, dude, I don't, it's dark. I can't see. Help me out. Ugh, I fucking hate this. Oh my god, I can't fucking see, and she is right on my tail. Okay, actually, I should say, try to save before that. Okay, so it was left, down. Oh my fucking god. You are so goddamn slow, Yuki. I'm gonna kill you myself. Oh my god, again! <sighs> GDI Lauren, I've, well, I told you, go work for 20 minutes and then come back. 
Oh wait, no. Why do I keep loading this one? I'm so... Yeah, this is the kind of stream I'm doing, so uh... If you go wanna go watch pro play, uh... This is not it. Why? <laughs> Why do I keep dying? I actually might rage quit here soon. Fucking shit. I can't do this one. I was so close last time too. Ugh. <sighs> no, it's because this fucking Yuki is so slow. That's all it is. Like, honestly, her stamina is trash. I'm gonna take a risk there because the ghost got stuck, so I'm gonna hope that she continues to get stuck. And of course not. Okay, this is the one where she's like fucking fast no for no fucking reason. That glass shattering sound gets me every fucking time. Okay, now this part. Stop getting stuck. Oh my god. I swear to god. Stop being such a piece of shit, Yuki. Oh my fucking god. I can't see. And I can't see. Holy shit, is this it? <gasps> yes! It only took me like 10 deaths. <laughs> Yuki needs to quit smoking for real. Bruh, that took way too long. <sighs> She's only 15, so if she's smoking, that's like... Yeah. That was so terrifying. You're telling me? I really need a rest right now, I'll just go home. Yeah, how about no? Oh well, it's so deep. Okay, I guess you still can't do it. Dude, my heart is racing. <laughs> I swear, every time you walk through a door, the ghost. Yeah, right? This is not fair to me, but. Hey, they never said this was supposed to be fair, so. <laughs> Arnold, I could not run away fast from memory 45. Uh, she was right there, and her she is wickedly fast, and Yuki is like trash. I'm telling you, she is fucking trash. Wait, let me see. Was there something here I was supposed to get? What happened? You look like you've just seen a ghost, you know? Well, maybe I did. Jesus. It's closed. I don't think there's anything else. <laughs> I hope I'm not missing anything, but... Who's wearing a creepy mask? Which creepy guy? Uh, I don't know if you're talking about the snowman or... I've never been so scared before. What time is it now? I'm probably late for the party. It's still 6.37am. <laughs> it's been 7 minutes since she woke up. That's surreal. <laughs> But why? I've been in that shrine for at least one hour. What about the time on Taiga's phone? It says 8 or 7 a.m. Hmm. Was everything back there just a dream? I'll just take a bath right now. I'm really sweating after being chased by that ghost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Could be wrong. But you know let's see. First let's save. The parents room. There was a guy on the street, okay. I'll look at that. I'll go out back and look at it. Hold on.
guy with a creepy mask? She won't take the katana. Where is the guy with the mask? see a guy on the street. I don't know if you're talking about the Yakuza guy? That was like way up here. Yeah, that guy's fine. He's not wearing a creepy mask. He just has a scar. I can't go that way. Yeah, sorry Tiff. I don't know where I don't know where the guy with the creepy mask is. There's that girl, but... Up the intersection? You're talking about this guy, right? This guy's normal. You don't appear as a ghost. You pass him on the way to the convenience... What? Nani? Oh, okay, so you were talking about the Yakuza guy. No worries, better to be thorough than to be like, shit, I missed something. Okay. Now let's take a bath. I guess. Well, at least I escaped from that one, yo. After this, I'm just gonna read some books and forget about everything in that shrine in no time. Oh, so positive. Um, I think the stream delay is like 30 seconds to a minute or something like that. I don't know how to deactivate it for now, so... Ouch, I think I accidentally scratched my eye. What? I didn't get that. What? I should check it on the mirror. Let's see. Okay, that should do it. <laughs> Oi. Huh? Is someone... Is someone there? On the mirror... On the... Oh, sh... Oh yes, this bitch. What's wrong? Why so scared? You're looking at yourself. Y you're not me. What made you think like that? Look, I've got a short purple hair, purple eyes, and the same voice. Soju. Shut up, you're not me, you're just a reflection on the mirror. Of course, I'm your reflection, the mirror is just doing its job. Then you really are. Yep, I'm you, you're me. You know what makes us different? It's that I'm the one who resides deep inside this body. Meanwhile, you are the outer one. What do you mean by that? I'm the outer one? You're just like a cage that keeps me sealed, more or less. But keep this in mind, there are no two of us. What? She's gone. Am I just hallucinating? Yeah, 42 second delay. I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm also using a free streaming platform, so that might be it. I don't feel like paying $19 a month for uh, the Prime one, so I'll see if there's something I can do. Okay, first let's go save again. Like the number one rule in RPGs, you gotta save whenever you can. And if I'm not mistaken, I have to look at my laptop. Your PC, it has high performance, unlike mine. Hmm. I thought you were supposed to look at. Yes, I think Arnold was timing it to see how exactly delayed this is. Because I'm trying my best to look at the chat on my Mac and I'm playing on my PC. But. Okay, so I guess now I leave? What I. There's nothing here anymore, so. Maybe I go talk to my mom. Oh, Yugi, 
Okay, you look so pale. You should rest now, okay? Okay. I think I'm supposed to go back outside. And I'm supposed to run to Ty. Yep. Hey, Yuki, have you found my phone yet? Of course, you lazy fuck. Here, please don't lose it next time, okay? Okay, I promise. You return to Taiga's phone. Did something bad happen? Huh? Oh, no, nothing happened. Don't freaking lie to me. Your smile says it all. After all, we've known each other since we were children. What are you talking about? Nothing bad happened. Well, if you say so, I'll see you later at the party then. See ya. Also, what kind of, like, middle school, like, has a farewell party or, like, a graduation party at a hotel? That's, like, some wacky-ass shit. I'd probably be laughed at if I told him what happened. I better do some research about that mansion after that. I'll recheck my luggage. Okay, now I go look at my laptop. Are you actually drinking soju, Arnold? <laughs> Right now, I can surf on the internet to see if there's any information about Kitty Hana's mansion. This is, of course, an optional task. You can start by searching on the internet. You don't have to do this task, actually, but to improve your knowledge about ghost stories and urban legends, doing so is recommended when you're done. Interact with your wardrobe. Okay. Scary ghost story time. hair really gets me <laughs> have farewell parties with limo oh nice now where do i start use when o google what when o google search engine which keywords should i use Key no results okay useless Results are a lot of scary audio pictures. Okay, so that was a bad idea. I regret using that keyword. Okay, so that was a bust. Go on Wiki Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. Do them avoiding copyright issues. Oh, you still have the soldier I left at your apartment? Shit, sorry. <laughs> Went ogle. <laughs> yeah, so this is a haunted place in Japan. There's too many of them, but this one really caught my attention. The Himuro Mansion. In an area outside of Tokyo, there lies a mansion in which it is said that seven people were murdered in a grisly manner. On the same property, there lies three detached residences that, that surround the mansion, all of which are rumored to have ties to the mansion's troubled past. It's said there's an underground network of tunnels that lay beneath the premises, but nobody knows who made these tunnels or what purpose they served. Many ex inexplicable phenomena have been reported occurring on the property. Bloody handprints have been found splattered all over the walls. Spirits have been spotted on the premises, even in broad daylight. If you take a photo of a certain window, a young girl can be seen in the developed picture. The narrow stairway leads to an attic where a spirit sealed talisman is rumored to be locked away. Men have sought this talisman, only to be found later with their bodies broken and rope marks around the wrist. Jay, isn't this an actual like horror movie? Like a Japanese horror movie? That sounds like The Grudge. These incidents have provoked fear in the people of Tokyo, and many believe that those who live near this area will become cursed. The deaths of those seven people who were killed in the mansion are unexplained to this day. Well, the mansion I've been in was a Kirihara mansion, not this one. Okay, Urban Legends Part 1. Kuchisake. Oh, slit mouth woman. I, I heard this one. Kuchisake Onna is one of the most famous urban legends in Japan. It's said that she's a woman who was mutilated by her husband and then returns as an onyo. People said that she appears at night as a beautiful woman that wears a mask. Children are the one who will usually encounter Kuchisake Onna. If you meet her, she'll ask you if she's pretty or not. If you say yes, she'll take off her mask, which reveals her mouth that is slit from ear to ear. After that, she'll ask the same question again. If the victim answers yes, the onyo will slit their victim's mouth just like her mouth. Well, that's scary. But if the victim answers no, he, she will be cut in half. In half. My goodness. Jay ran to the bathroom. He's saving this attempt. In the <laughs> Arnold really went. Oh, went as synonym of go. Oh, I didn't even catch that. 
It's impossible to run away from Kusaka on the She will instantly reappear in front of the victim, but some sources said that there's a, no way, there's a way to escape from her. In 1979, around Nagasaki Prefecture, Kusaka on the has been sighted in many places. This caused panic. Many schools are only allowing children to go home in groups escorted by their teachers. Even the police started to increase their patrols. Well, this one's not related. Teke teke. Teke teke is a name given to an onyo of a young schoolgirl who fell on a railway line and was cut in half by an oncoming train. Teke teke travels by using her elbows while dragging her torso, making the teke teke sounds. If an unlucky person encounters her and that victim didn't run fast enough, she'll slice him, her, in half using the scythe that she always carries. Okay, so another... Oh no, that's your kick. You're so weird, Arnold. <laughs> I think I'll start improving my running speed. Yeah, please do. Fucking shit. Well, this one's not related to Kirihara. Yeah, it's not. Kashima Reiko. Kishima Kashima Reiko is an onyo woman who died and lost her legs on a train. Another train? She usually haunts the bathroom and toilet sauce. Oh! This ghost actually shows up somewhere later in the game. I. I didn't encounter. I like I ran out after uh, hearing her ask about her legs, but uh, this time I'm gonna try to stay. Answering her question wrongly will result in having your legs ripped off by her. Another version of the legend said that instead of having your leg ripped off, she'll instead break your legs by twisting them 360 degrees. The correct answer for her question is Meishin Expressway. P mark this down. I'm gonna forget this. Meishin Expressway. If she asks who told you about where her leg is, answer Kashima Reiko. After that, she'll go and retrieve her legs. <laughs> Even if you know how to deal with the Onyo, it's still scary if you encounter them. Well, this one is not related to Kimiha. Yeah, it's none of them are. Oh, Aoni! There's a mansion somewhere in Japan where people have been reported to be missing. Rumors said that they have been taken by a mysterious blue demon-like creature named Aoni. Does that mean all these ghosts are gonna like feature in this game? Even though there's nothing that proves the existence of the Aoni, many people have sighted them in a forest near the mansion. There's only one person who came back from that mansion, a middle school student with glasses. He told the media that the Aoni really exists. After that, the legend about the Aoni is labeled as a true story. Until today, the mansion is left in mysteries. No one has ever visited the mansion again. Cool. I'm getting tired of reading this. This one seems familiar. Have I heard about it before? Part 2 Nure Onna Nure Onna is name given to a yokai which resembles a snake with female human head with a female human head. They are usually seen on a shore washing their hairs. They usually lure their victim by pretending to be a drowned woman. Once the victim rescues the Nure Onna, she will begin to constrict them and eventually suck their blood. People said that Nure Onna has a very beautiful face. This is one of the factors that will lure men to rescue them. Typical. In order to identify her, you'll have to look at the water surface. Nure Onna usually tricks their victim on calm waters. Okay, yokai. This is not what I was looking for. Akamento, the red cape. Oh my god, there's so many. Akamanto is a malicious spirit that haunts public and school toilets. He appears as a man that wears a red cape and a mask. It's said that he wears the mask in order to hide his extremely handsome face. If you enter the toilet stall which he haunts, he'll ask you, which do you prefer, red paper or blue paper? If you answer red paper, you'll be slaughtered until your clothes are bloodstained just like red paper. If you answer the blue paper, you'll be strangled to death until your face turns blue. Either way, you'll be killed. Okay. If you answer any other color besides red and blue, you'll be dragged <laughs> or sent into the netherworld. Another version of the legend said that you'll be thrown into hell instead of the netherworld. The correct way to escape Akamoto's question is by answering no paper. No paper. I should never use a toilet, public toilet again. <laughs> Same. A village where 33 people were massacred. Nice. There's a village so Oh, I think this is the one that's relevant actually. There's a village somewhere in Japan where a massive murder occurred during the war. 33 people were massacred there. People said that the killer is a man carrying several guns and a katana. Until today, the identity of the killer is still enshrouded in mystery. The said village was completely annihilated only in one night where the killer massacred his victim one by one in a brutal way. The killer later burned the village with a Molotov. In 1976, a landslide buried the entire village. This caused the village to completely disappear. No one can find the village anymore. 
So Squid Game or Matrix, yep. Hello, Diana. You arrived uh, to me just reading horse, horror stories research, I guess. This one looks pretty weird. Why would someone massacre a village full of innocent people? This one is related. The Red Room. Last one. The Red Room curse is er What the fuck? The pop-up will be triggered when you watch a Flash movie t titled The Red Room Curse. The Flash movie simply to tells you about two men seeking the mystery of the Red Room Curse. When they open the website where the pop-up should appear, it's- it- what? It does start to pop out. The man who sat on the computer tried to close the pop-up, but the pop-up kept appearing endlessly. Do you like dot 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 is the first message the man heard. After a few minutes of trying to close the pop-up, the next message was heard. Do you like red? Finally, a final message was heard. Do you like red room? And then suddenly the room became dark. The man felt a presence behind him. That is the last thing he knew before the whole room suddenly became red. A bloody red one. The next day, the man was found dead, mutilated with his whole room painted red with his blood. From that day until now, no one has ever opened the website again. It is ridiculous. There's no way that the Kia family ever used the internet. The urban legend is pretty scary though. Well, this one's not related. Okay, I think I read everything. Oh wait, no. There's more. Ask some random people on social network. No way. I'm too shy to ask strangers. Okay, so why is this an option? Open Yahoo answer. There's no way someone would ask such a question. You'd be surprised. Oh, I found one question about the family. Question, does anyone, what the fuck? What did it say? It just fucking flipped through that shit like. Answer, top answer, they don't exist anymore. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> okay, I think I did everything. Somewhere else? Oh, maybe that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to read books or some shit? Novel and school related books. Just to make sure I don't miss anything this time, I'm gonna make sure I read everything. No. Novel and school related books. has pretty purple hair. Okay, magazines. Full of novel related books. I don't think there's anything more. Scrolls and other antique items. Say, what do you think about my content? Wait, what, did, what was that? Yes, I do want one. I do want one. Give me the fucking katana. Give it to me. Ah, <sighs> this girl. The boxes? I don't. I thought I checked in there, but hold on. Yeah, you can't. There's nothing. You can't click on it. Oracle check? Oh my god. I didn't even realize Arnold was saying that. That's so dumb. He said Oracle check, which is like literally translated to face book. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing. There's just food in here, so it'd be weird if there was something in here. No, nothing. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Maybe you have to chase the other answers for dad to give you the Maybe? Imagine how he'll give it to me if I tell him sorry it looks dull. Wait, no, not this one. Sorry, but it seems a little bit dull. What? Maybe I'll sharpen it again tomorrow. Whoa, he looks sad. I think I said something. Oh, I just made him sad. I don't know what to say. 
Alright, then. But you should know this sword is worth all the money in the world. I'm serious, you can't find the exact same sword anywhere. But I saw the exactly same thing several times inside that mysterious shrine. There's no way it's the only one in this world. Yeah, so that was a bust. I don't get it. I feel like there must be... I don't know. This is just a prologue though, so... Libraries in the town? Good point. I should probably check. I don't think so. And she walks so slow outside. <laughs> okay, that was a neighbor's house, so it's not. The Arnold just speak Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, so I can't go this way. Why she can't uh, run? And I think the convenience store is still closed. Okay, so I think we can safely conclude. I've tried looking for every single thing, and that's it. So this fucking snowman. Okay, I'm gonna go save and then on to chapter one now. In the end, I couldn't find anything about that mansion. I guess I'll recheck my luggage again. I've checked everything again. Yuki, your friend is already waiting for you. Will you take your laptop with you? Yes. I think I'll bring my laptop. I'll be able to upload our farewell party's pictures faster with it. Okay, I'm coming, Mom. End of chapter zero. Woof. Uh, I have a bad feeling that I missed something, but I hope not. And so, Yuki went to the hotel where the farewell party will be held, yet she didn't know what was going to happen next. Chapter 1, Farewell Night. Whoa, what a snowstorm. I better enter the hotel quickly before I freeze to death. Diana, if there's something I missed in the in chapter zero, will you let me know? <laughs> Thanks, Tiff. I shouldn't go anywhere other than the hotel. Hotel, Yuki. Hey, Yuki. Nice to see you here. Taiga, has everybody arrived yet? Well, not everyone yet. Looks like they're having trouble with the traffic jams and the snowstorm. But at least you're here, so I... Ooh, doki doki. Well, well, well. Look who's trying to flirt with my beloved friend. I feel like... <laughs> Kayako? <laughs> She's like you, Tiff. Like... <laughs> If someone at school tries to floor me, you're like, who the fuck? What are you saying, Kayako? I'm just answering her question. 
Oh no you don't. If you want to flirt with her, try walking over my dead body first. Oh god, here they go again. You meanie. Worthless man. Fatty. What an extremely blind person. Well, you're deaf, don't you understand? Dude, these insults are so... <laughs> Private party. They're 15, so, uh... I think I'll have to stop them now. Blah, 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 blah. What did I say last time? I think I said stop it, Kayako. Well, Kayako's kind of a bitch. But I'll say stop it, Kaiga. I don't think you'll win an argument against Kayako. Oh, not you too, Yuki. You know what? I'm sorry, but Yuki's on my side. Accept it, moron. Ugh, damn you, witch. What'd you say? Nothing at all. <laughs> He's such a pussy. Oh, Diana, I just said, let me know if I missed, like, an item in Chapter Zero that I need for the canon ending. Because I looked everywhere, but I couldn't see anything. I couldn't find any more information on the Kirihara Mansion, so. And no apologies. Jay says, shut up, Kako. <laughs> yeah, that was what I said, too, the first time. <laughs> A phone call? Hello? Hello, Taiga. Sorry, but we can't make it to the hotel today, so please tell the others who have already arrived. We should be able to reach you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, I guess we're the only people who arrived at the hotel today. Well, that's too bad. I hope the snowstorm will end soon. I can't stand them at all. Well, let's check in right now. We can't just be standing here and still carrying around our luggages, right? Alright then. Yuki, I'll see you at the receptionist. Okay. Oh, this hotel is huge though. I have so much to look at. Oh. Character introduction room. You can learn the main character's background story and their personality here. When you're done, you can return to the main game by exiting the room. Oh, I'm the cat. Eee, I'm the cat! And I can't click on the katana? No. Yes, okay. This is Yuki Shinozaki, 15 years old. She's a main protagonist, but she shouldn't be. Yuki is a shy and timid girl. She doesn't socialize very much. This is because her parents are overprotective of her. They didn't allow her to go outside except for schools and trips with them. <laughs> Yuki's friends. Yuki's only friends are Taiga and Kayako. As their parents are extremely close with Yuki's, Taiga and Kayako are almost like an older brother and sister to her. When she was still a child, she often got sick. This is because of her weak immune system she had. Taiga and Kayako often came to see her when she's sick. In school, she's the top student, always getting a high score for every test she got. Except for her PE practical score, which are extremely low. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. Now she's forced to face the horror of what, a, what is lost in memory and time. With her brain and her friends, will she be able to escape this infinite nightmare? Well, if you put it that way. Taiga Aso, 15 years old, a typical male character. What makes him unique is that he's a little bit of a coward. That's not unique. He was born and raised in a rich and noble family. His father taught him the art of sword fighting since he was little. He acts like an older brother to Yuki, but recently he started to fall for her. Kayako often shoots him away from Yuki as she thinks that Yuki deserves a better guy. As the nightmare begin, began to consume him, begins to consume him. God, figuring out the grammar is so... As the nightmare begins to consume him, he must protect Yuki and also Kayako from the worst. Even so, he didn't realize that he's in danger too. Kayako Shimazaki, 15. Strong-willed and rather tomboyish young girl, Kayako is very protective of Yuki like an older sister. Kayako is also a brave girl. Nothing scares her, not even a ghost. She also has a high prestige in school and often became a class representative. Her biggest fear is regarding Yuki's safety. Whenever Yuki did a risky task, she would always accompany her to ensure her safety. The two were always together at school, which made people think that Kayako is truly Yuki's older sister. As the nightmare Kate comes, she's trapped between life and death situations where she must keep overcoming dangerous challenges while simultaneously protecting Yuki from the deadly. The ghost of Kirihara Mansion, age unknown. The main ghost of the story, it is unknown if she's an antagonist or a protagonist. However, as the game progresses, you'll learn everything about her little by little. And I think that's it. There's probably nothing else. Can't I just stay like this cat forever? Like, 
Okay, the important one is in chapter one. Thank you. And yes, the cat is much, much, much faster than Yuki. Like if I was the cat, this that chase earlier would not have been a problem. Exit. Yes. place it goes she'll be faster than you can yeah <laughs> section will be like the many western stuffs around here except for those green skulls. I heard that the owner of the hotel found it underground when they were creating a basement. The owner also forbids people from reading it, including us staff. Okay. So I can't read it. Knight's armor, golden armor, silver armor. I really wish I could just fucking take one of these katanas. Like, why can't I? is always haunted during the winter. Do you believe it? Yes, I do. Oh, I should check in first. Should check in first. Okay, fine. Welcome to the Sai Kyodai Hotel. Can I help you? Um, uh, I, uh, yes, can I help you? <laughs> so she still has it. I'm gonna go back later to see if the guard is still like uh, guarding it. I'd like to rent a room for two. Which type of room would you like to stay in? The twin bed or the double bed room? The twin bedroom, please. Okay, just a moment, please. I'll check if there's a room that's available for you. That wasn't so hard, was it? I hope one day you'll be able to overcome your shyness. Great to see your shyness has decreased little by little. You'll be able to socialize a lot better when it's gone. Thanks. Yeah, I think there's another purple hair girl too. By the way, why did you choose the twin bedroom? Um, because why not? I know what'll happen if I choose the double bedroom. Oh, you're afraid that I'll shh. Please just keep it a secret. What? Me too, Tyga, I'm confused. Here's the key to your room, it's located on the 6th floor. You got room 603 key. Let's go to our room then. So you girls aren't gonna wait for me? Why should we? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyga, but I also need to put my luggage down first. Oh, okay then. Damn. Tyga, I see you with the double bed. <laughs> hey, Yuki. Yes, what is it? Never mind. Hey, that's our room. I have a theory that Kayako is also in love with Yuki, but I'm not sure. Whoa, this room looks extremely great. I just can't wait to sleep in this luxurious room. How about you, Yuki? I bet the beds are super comfortable. You bet. Well, I'm gonna take a bath, bath for now. After that, I'll wait till night comes. Okay, I guess I have a lot of free time until then. Why don't you wander inside this hotel then? After all, this hotel is pretty much interesting to explore. Of course. Okay. Right now you're free to do what you want to do. Once you have done many things like talking or touring the hotel, go back to this room and interact with your bed. It's the left one. I'll have to visit Taiga first. I think his room number was 619. Coin. Yay, money! So I can buy coffee.
Surf the internet. Well, I guess I'll surf the internet for now. There's a new update on Mango. Mango Wolf. <laughs> Do you like... Hmm? What? Oh, Tiff. Uh, careful. A pop-up. Oh no, the pop-up appeared again. What, why won't it close? Is it a virus? Do you like red? That voice again. Is someone there? Yeah, so there was a reason we had to read the legends. <sighs> Don't tell me the urban legend was true. Do you like red? Fire off some stupid emails tonight. Thanks, Arnold. Oop. Whoop. Okay, that was an interesting death they seen. I think I'm going to play a little bit more until 10 and then probably log off. Uh, need to feed the cats and stuff. You're gonna feed the cats, huh? This isn't making any money, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so 605 was locked. 606. Of a larger room. That's very nice, Taiga. He's rich. Well, having a big room but being alone is not nice at all, though. I feel lonely, but at least tomorrow my roommate will come. Your roommate is Ren, right? Yeah, I managed to convince that emo kid to go to this party as well, but I think it's because of Kurashina that changed his mind. Kurashina, you mean Haruka Kurashina from Class 3A? Eh? Didn't expect him to come just because of her. Yep, that's only my guess though. Kayako's not with you, is she? Well, she's taking a bath right now, so she's not with me. By the way, why did you two always why do you two always have a quarrel? Well, I don't know either. But friendship gets tight for every what? Friendship gets tightened with every fight, doesn't it? I think Taiga I'm not sure, I'll check. Well, that's what they said in books and films. Well, I do believe it. Yuki, where are you? <laughs> that's creepy. Holy cow, she found us talking like this. I guess I'll have to leave you for now then. Well, it can't be helped, I guess. <laughs> Taiga trying to... See ya. The Kayako is so clingy. There you are. I guess you really are touring around this hotel. Well, you're the one who suggested the idea. Oh yes. Did you know which room is Taiga's? Room 619. Room 619. He didn't do anything funny to you, right? Um, no he didn't. Well, that's great. I'll be returning to our room, but... See you later, Yuki. That was weird. I guess Kark was overly attached and protective of me, but why? Why indeed? I think I checked this one. Yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while. Nope, I'm not going there. It's only for adults. What the fuck? Is that a casino?
Yeah, Kyoko really is, um... Oh. bad feeling about this. Keep pressing. There's probably something here that I missed. Oh god, there's gonna be a jump scare. I can just feel it. My hands are sweating. It's the last one. It's the last stall. You felt someone was behind the stall, but when you knocked on the stall, there's no answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. A blackout? Did the light bulb just bro just break? Oh shit, 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 shit. Someone is- oh, oh, oh. Would you like a red paper or a blue one? I'm supposed to say no paper, but I can't say it. <sighs> Wasn't I thought you're not supposed to say Okay, well, I don't want to say red or blue, so I'll say purple. Um do you have a purple one? The purple one, eh? Now I'm going to be sent to hell. There's no option for no paper, so I, yeah, I could not. <laughs> Death. Whoa, it's actually hell. And I can't move. Nice. Okay, I can go back and try not answering for a while. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, having this in headphones makes this so much scarier. Because I can fucking hear everything. Like, The internet lied. Okay, let's try not answering for a while. And I can't move. I'm just... I think you have to answer one way or another. I guess we can just look at another death scene because I'm pretty sure... Right, they lied. The internet lied. Uh. Oh God, you have you have me on your TV. <laughs> God. Um. Okay, I guess I'll just go for red this time because I have to choose the the red one. The red one, eh? Right. <laughs> so be it. Have the bloody red paper. Died with your own blood. <laughs> Ooh, stabby stabby. <laughs> As Yuki was about to run away in the darkness, a sword suddenly sliced her leg off. She eventually fell. Okay. As she was trying to crawl away, the unknown entity chopped off her fingers, and after that, began to slice her body like a living chainsaw. 
Of course, the painful experience was definitely unbearable. Even the toughest person on the earth would prefer death over the pain that kept coming no matter what happens until death. Okay, great. The sound of slash slashing, slicing, scratching, tearing, and ripping was heard in a loop as if it will occur eternally before finally it's able to let her before finally able to let out a breath, blah blah. The next day Yuki's corpse was found. Kayako found her corpse when she was looking for her. At first she couldn't identify Yuki's corpse as she was missing her head, but after realizing it was her beloved friend, Kayako screamed out loud as if she had gone under a painful psychological torture. Well, that was a long death scene. Girl found dead, mutilated. Nice. I don't know, it's very, very detailed. Okay, well, now I guess we have to try blue, right? Let's do blue! Maybe if, like... Do you think maybe if I do all three of the things, like, the no paper option will come out? Maybe? Someone is standing behind me. Would you like? Okay, so this time let's go blue. The blue one. The blue one, eh? Oh, I'm not gonna like this at all. So be it. Something choked me. Oh, yep, and then crack, crack. Coughs. If this continues, I'm gonna... Crack, crack. <laughs> Despite of her efforts to break free from the unknown that choked her to death, Yuki failed to do so. Her consciousness slowly went away as the harder she, as the harder the choke became. She knew that she'll die from the choke eventually. Great. After a brief moment later, Yuki finally gave her final breath. Her face turned into blue as she couldn't even breathe a single molecule of oxygen in the process, but the unknown hand didn't stop choking her lifeless body, at least until it snapped her neck, I'm guessing. Well, noise. There's like random people coming here and like typing in weird ass shit. Maybe they're bots, I don't know. Yeah, okay. If there's no no paper option, I'm just gonna do the purple death again, because I think that's like faster than the other ones. Because that one's just like sending me to hell. Perhaps. Okay, there is no point to this. I'm just gonna do purple again and then. Okay, here I go through hell again. <laughs> it's stupid. I thought there'd be something to this, but I guess not. Slide, 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 slide. Ooh. Death. Okay, well that's that. I'm not gonna go to the bathroom anymore. God damn. I know, right? The internet lied! Okay, let's try going on this side and see if Remember if I ch checked all these locks individually. Shut up, Norman. It's 
locked. Ooh, let's go see Taiga again. This is Taiga's room. He has two beds. Hmm. Well, he did say he has a roommate coming, but we we both know what he's hoping that's for. Nothing. Nothing. Hi, Taiga. How's it going? Absolutely nothing here. Oh! Oh, there's a bathroom in here. I really don't want to run into the slit mouth woman. If she comes out in this game, I really don't want that. Oh my god, move your ass. No, I can't go up this way either. Okay. This hotel music is actually pretty soothing. that I went to? No, this is a men's bathroom. Why not, Yuki? Oh shit, this hotel is a maze. And this is my room. Okay, let's go down. First floor. I don't think... I would hope there's no triple six room. That's... Terrifying. Who are you? Back then, before the hotel was built, a mansion was built on this lot. Well, that's what my crystal said to me. I'm sorry, but you may not proceed any further. This is a staff only area. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Mommy's favorite place on holiday. Ooh, papers. Oh, there's another purple haired girl. There's some outdated newspaper clippings on the floor. 2 12 step of 1 Sunday. Supernatural accident. A serious accident occurred yesterday. A young woman was set on fire when she was swimming in Kirahara Hotel's pool. This accident, of course, is impossible to happen in a scientific way. According to several witnesses, she was set on fire when she was diving in the pool. This caused, this caused some occultists to come to the hotel to investigate further. After some time, the occultists found out that this accident was caused by a dangerous, very dangerous vengeful spirit that lingers inside the red swimsuit that the victim wore. What portraits on the wall? Uh, I'll go back. The victim's little brother said that she found the swimsuit on the locker room she was about to lose. She told, she was told, what? She said that she started to feel hotter when she wore the swimsuit, said the victim's younger brother. After a few minutes, steam started to come out of her body. That's when she started to freak out as if she's on the pit of hell. That's why I quickly put some ice on her. I don't know either. 
but it didn't have any effect on her. Instead, I almost burned by the heat on her body. She quickly jumped into the pool, dived in, but it was the moment she was engulfed in an unknown fire, said a younger brother. This accident also happened for the past few years. Every year during the winter, a woman wearing a red swimsuit was burned underwater. Since that day, the hotel gave a warning to anyone who found a red swimsuit that doesn't belong to them to report to any hotel staff. Okay, so we're going to look for a red swimsuit. Today I'm going to swim. Okay, let's go back out to the hotel hallway. I don't think you can see it. Yeah, you can't click on it. Too bad. Okay, let me go back to the pool. Now every time I enter a bathroom, I get fucking scared. There's bound to be a red swimsuit in here. Let's save first. No? No red swimsuit? No way. Why would there be... Why would there be a mirror in here if there's nothing? Yeah, I checked all of these already, so I'm not sure. Or just seeing how they'll animate burning in water. Okay. Can't go in here. Hello. Hey there, miss. People rarely swim these things. I guess the temperature is too cold. Back in my days when I lived in Russia, I used to swim even in these, co these cold seasons. Think of it as a hobby. Weirdo. Like, I'll eat ice cream. It's cold, but okay. Well, I don't think there's anything here. What glass? Oh, I clicked on it, there was nothing. I tried that in the bathroom, right? Oh, yes, this area Oni statue. Sai kill thy dinner. I think they meant died. <laughs> oh my god, the grammar. Sorry, I thought I had like a cone of hair in my nose. Oh man, this place is amazing. They got a tasty wine on the second floor. Last year, I couldn't even find a chair to sit down at this place. Okay. Well, I mean, people are smart. They don't want to come here and die. Sai kyo thai diner and bar. Yes. <laughs> Dinner and bar. They said that one of the wine here contains a vengeful spirit. If you accidentally drink it, the spirit will send you into a permanent sleep. But that probably is just a story to scare people. Yes, now I can buy canned coffee. What the fuck? Yay! Oh. Sorry, miss, you're not old enough for these drinks.
how something I don't understand Mandarin. Me neither. Golden statue surfer. If you look closely, there's a writing on the bottom. Seijiro Kirahara. Okay. Seijiro Kirahara wasn't that the one on that mansion's archive? Maybe just someone with exactly the same name must be a coincidence. No, what the fuck. Good day, young miss. Are you staying at this hotel too? sunbathing when it's like 3 degrees Celsius. What the fuck? Holy shit. More bathrooms. Well. Ugh, I wish there was a save though. I don't, I don't want to do this all over again. Book about modern cooking. Food recipe. No one wants to try my new chili sauce. Sure. Thank you. Finally, someone wants to try my new extra se secret extra spicy chili sauce. Here you go. Try a sip. What the fuck? She went on fire. I'll never try that sauce again. Hello there. Are you interested in cooking? Cooking sure is fun. I've been doing it for the past 50 years and I really enjoy it. That was a waste of my time. Old book. Okay. What is this? Unknown seasoning. Several bottles of alcohol. I guess there's nothing to it but to go to the bathroom. Toilet mist, you may use the one on the east. This woman's okay, yeah. Quality of an ingredient is very important. High quality, blah blah. Oh, you guys are so useless. Yeah, you can see into the other bathroom. You want to try some of that, miss? Just take a sip. Sorry, but I'm not old enough. My parents told me not to try. locked. Oh, so if I find a key, I bet there's something there. It's always haunted, not nah, just kidding. Can I help you? Hey there, little sis. Let's play hide and seek. I'd like to, but maybe next time, okay? Okay. <laughs> Back here. Let's 
go save. Oh, God. I know I keep bitching, but she's really just so slow. God. Yeah, actually, this might be a good place to stop it. Uh, I've been playing for a while. <sighs> So I think it's a good time to go watch some other people stream. <laughs> I feel like I did a lot, but still, like, that first chase scene was, ugh, it took too long. And I know that there's something in the hotel that I missed the first time, because I, I remember getting really tired of going all over the place, and then I didn't, yeah. But I think later, like, I'll be able to explore further, because I'm pretty sure, like, nah, we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my first stream. It was fun. Thank you. I feel a little shy now, I don't know what to do. 